Hey guys, really sorry. I've been hunted down by people in the comments section about this video I made about things I hate about Victoria, but it was just brutal honesty. And in this video, I'm gonna get even more honest because I love Victoria, BC. If you don't live here, you should. Here's 13 reasons why. Reason number one, the mild weather in Victoria, BC. As far as Canadian weather goes, this is probably the best that you can expect. It doesn't get too hot. And even in our hottest months of the year, like August, where the average daily temperature is 16.8 degrees, we rarely breach 30 degrees. And even when we do on those scorcher days, they're usually accompanied by a nice ocean breeze and low humidity. Our coldest month of the year is December with an average daily temperature of four and a half degrees and it rarely snows. In the city of Victoria, there's more than 2,100 hours of sunlight during the year and you have beautiful sunny days in the spring where you can expect to be outside and enjoying the natural beauty of Victoria. Number two, village living and the walkability offered by some of Victoria's great neighborhoods. This concept of the 15 minute city and being able to walk to everything that you need from your doorstep in 15 minutes or less is prevalent in a lot of the communities in Victoria, BC. I'm here at Cook Street Village, which some would consider the creme de la creme of villages in Victoria, but there are a number of others scattered throughout from Esquimalt to Caberbay Village to Estevan Village quaint little communities that form a bubble that you can live in and be quite happy doing so. Number three, I believe the natural beauty of Victoria is unparalleled. Because we're at the southern end of Vancouver Island wrapped in all this coastline, we have so much ocean and beachfront access as well as beautiful and captivating wildlife. When you're looking across the Olympic mountain range in Washington state, you might catch some orca whales, you might see some seals floating by, maybe a bald eagle or two. And if you're out in the woods, be wary of those cougars and bears. It's a wild place, it's the west coast, it's incredibly beautiful. Some of you may recall that in previous videos I mentioned I used to play pro sports. I was a pro football player, played in the CFL for a couple of years, and I am a sports fanatic. Luckily, Victoria, BC is also a thriving sports city. We have a number of great local teams from junior hockey teams like the Victoria Royals. I actually think the Salsa and Salmon Kings were better names, but that's another story. Uh, we have the Canadian men's rugby team that's based here, and we have great collegiate teams at Camosun College and UVic. A lot of our high school sports compete against the best of the best in the province, so whether it's your kids or yourself that's interested in high-level sports, the city is a great place to do it. Number five, in my opinion, Victoria is the perfect size for a city in Canada. We're the 15th largest metropolitan area with just under 400,000 residents. And the density is not so severe that you feel like you're crammed into a sardine can or that it's so sprawling that you feel like it's endless suburbia and you can't get to what you need to get to. We fall in there with other cities like Halifax and London and the 1,600 residents per square kilometer is similar to Quebec City. It's just the right mix of small town energy with big city amenities. Number six, the proximity and breadth of activities in Victoria means you can fit a lot into one day. From right here in the downtown core, from our incredible dining, places to stay, and places to meet with friends, you could be out on the back of your mountain bike or hiking one of BC's best provincial parks within 30 minutes. In 45 minutes to an hour, you can be surfing on the west coast at Jordan River or Port Renfrew, and in three and a half hours, you can be skiing the slopes at Mount Washington. There's so much you can do in a day and so much if you're an outdoor enthusiast or someone that likes fitness to experience in the city. If you're looking for a quality education for your kids, Victoria has some of the best public and private schools in the entire province of British Columbia. As an example, based on Fraser Institute rankings in the primary school category, St. Michael's University School and Selkirk Montessori both received 10 out of 10 grades. In the secondary variety, you have Glenline Norfolk School, St. Michael's once again, Oak Bay High, which is in behind me, and Claremont, which are also in the top 100 schools at the secondary level in the province of British Columbia. Number eight, although we as Canadians face our share of healthcare issues, some of the specialized care offered in Victoria is among the best in the country. Looking back to a survey that polled local hospitals across the country, both staff and patient experience, Victoria General Hospital and the Royal Jubilee Hospital were ranked 12th and 7th respectively. There are also a lot of specializations offered here in Victoria, like the BC Cancer Clinic that's behind me here at the Jube, and other things, whether you're going to see a dentist, a podiatrist, or an orthodontist. There's lots of specialists here and lots of people to help take care of you. 
Number nine, one of my favorites, the parks. All of the parks in Greater Victoria means getting outside, whether you're walking your dog or getting outside with your kids is so much easier. There's over a hundred parks and green spaces in the city of Victoria. Saanich is host to more than 170 parks and hundred kilometers of trails. And there's 18 provincial parks throughout Greater Victoria and the Gulf Islands. So if you wanna get out and experience the Wild West Coast, there's so many places to do that. And the best part is that they're slipped into all these little neighborhoods so that they're never too far away from your doorstep. Number 10, we have great beer culture here in Victoria, and more specifically, great patio culture that comes out when the sun comes out. The locals know that the best place to enjoy local beer is at one of our great patios downtown, like right here in Market Square. We've got Whistleboy, we've got the Drake. Hop over to the local or maybe down to the newly opened Craft Beer Market to enjoy some of our local producers best, from Phillips to Driftwood, the Spinnakers, you name it, we've got it. The beer scene here is great and the patio scene is even better. Number 11, we have incredible local arts and entertainment at venues like the McPherson Playhouse in to the left of me here, or a little ways away at the Royal Theatre, which is more than 100 years old, that showcased things like the Victoria Symphony and Victoria Ballet for decades. We also have great live music events, whether they're annual, semi-annual, or every once in a while, like Jazz Fest, Symphony Splash, and some of my favorites, like the Phillips Backyard Weekender or Rifflandia. Number 12, we've got a friendly bunch of people that call Victoria, BC home. I'm not sure whether that's just because they love living here or not, but from my experience, I think Victorians approach things with a glass half full rather than half empty mindset. My wife and I are used to walking around our neighborhood in Esquimalt and having people greet us and say hello, uh, which isn't common in all parts of Canada. And I think people here are pretty darn friendly and pretty darn relaxed. Whether that's a consequence of the lifestyle, I'm not so sure, but Victorians are kind, approachable, and welcoming. And the last one on my list, the charm. Because of a lot of the British influence that was a blend of new American tradition with a new city, we had some emerging architectural styles like the Tudor Revival that sits in behind me from Samuel McClure and people like Francis Rattenberry, Percy Leonard James, and William Ridgway Wilson placed their stamp on Victoria that still stands today. Some of the most incredible manor homes still dot old neighborhoods like here in Rockland, through Fernwood, Oak Bay, and Fairfield and it's a sight to see. Maybe I'm biased because it's my hometown. Maybe I'm a little naive because I haven't lived in every city in Canada, but I do believe this is the best place to live in the country. Make sure you guys subscribe for more if you're interested in learning more about our beautiful city, the capital of British Columbia, and more information about our real estate market.